Hi and welcome to part 9 of how to build an e-commerce website using Django and Vue.js. Today I'm going to make it possible to add coupons to the, to the cart. But before I continue I want to say thank you to my first Patreon, Frederick Rowland. Thank you so much for the support. If anyone else wants to become a Patreon for code with Stein, I will add a link in the description below. So the first thing I'm going to do today is to create a new app called Coupon. So I will begin with a new folder, mkdir, apps, coupon, python, manage.py, start app, coupon, it's going to be inside apps, coupon. And then I can go ahead and create the database model for this. So if I go to coupon, and models.py class coupon models.model here I want the code field code models.char field I want this to be maximum length of 50 characters and this have to be unique so this will be validated in the Django admin interface. Value models dot integer field. I want this this value. I want to use percentages. So maybe I want to give twenty five percent discount to a user or something like that. But you can do whatever you want. Active equals models dot oops models dot boolean field. Default equals true, so when I create it, it's automatically set to active. Number available, if you want to limit this in a way. Models.integer field. Default equals 1. Number used equals models.integer field. Default 0. Then I just want to create a string function for the admin interface. Return self.code. I also want to create one more, no, two more helper functions here. I want to have one which checks if I can use a code and I want one to use a code. So def can use, I will use this to check if I can use a code. Is active equals true. Just set this temporarily. If self.active equals false, then I set is active to false. If self.num used is greater or equal than self.number of available code, and self.number available not equals zero is active equals false so this means that if i set number available to zero they will always be active and possible to use so it's infinite and then i just return is active also want one for using the code use self here i just say self dot number of used equals self dot number of used plus one. If self dot num used equals self dot num available, then I set self dot active equals false. So if it's if I have this to one and I use one, it will be automatically set to active equals false. Self dot save. I just call the save function. Perfect, so now I can update the database. Python manage.py make migrations. No, sorry, I forgot to go to settings.py and register the coupon. Apps.coupon. So we can try again. Okay, did something wrong here. Forgot the equal sign. And then Python manage py migrate. Perfect. So now I have the database model. Then I want to 
go into admin.py and register it there from dot models import code no coupon admin site dot register coupon so if I now run the server and then I go to home create a new coupon just uh, say 50 just want this to be 50 code so I know what it is 50% and I want 10 of it and save so now we have a coupon that we can use in the cart but in order to use this function here I want to create an API function api.py inside the coupon because I want a separate API there and then first I need to import JSON response django.http import JSON response from dot models import coupon def API can use request JSON response to the empty dictionary coupon code equals request dot get get coupon code like that I want to try catch here coupon equals coupon dot object dot get code equals the one I get from the parameter if coupon can use then I use it so I'll just say JSON response amount so I get this value here just say coupon dot value so I get the value of the coupon else the amount should be set to zero if it can't be used and also if there are any exceptions except exception just set this to zero too like that and on the last line as a return JSON response JSON response so it's a typo want to fix and save so now we have an API function to check if the a if the coupon code is available. I just need to register it with the URLs from apps.coupon.api, which is the file we just created. And this is the view we just created. Path API can use pass in this, add the name. And save so everything seems to be working for now perfect so then I can go to the front end and no I just want to first do some changes to the order too below the page I want one field here so I can keep track of which coupon code has been used used coupon models of char field max length equals 50 blank equals true null equals true and save and then we can just update the database again before we do anything more and we run the server so now we can close this and i also want to do one more thing in the back end before i go to the front end in the cart.py inside the get total cost there is something wrong with this checker here so I want to replace this with the try catch instead so try to return this accept exception then the return zero because there was some problem with the plus and no the increment and decrement in the cart some people told me this so I think this is a great solution Everything seems to be working. 
And if I go here, just to refresh, add to cart. So everything here seems to be working. Perfect. So now I need to go to cart.html and do some changes in the front end. The first thing I want to do is to add two more variables here. I need one for the coupon value, set this to zero, and coupon code to empty. And also I want one more computed value called total cost with coupon function if this dot coupon value is greater than zero then I return store dot state dot total cost multiplied with parse int this dot coupon value and divide that by 100. If there are no coupon values, I can just say return store.state.totalCost so I know that it's always the same as this one. And save this. And up here in the, in the table where we show the total cost, I want to add one more TR only show this if there are a coupon value so I say v if this is view coupon value td total cost with coupon to add a call span 3 because I want to span over these three tds td braces total cost with coupon and save. So if I refresh, everything still seems correct and there are no errors. So that's perfect. And then I can go up here and below the table. I want to create two new input fields. HR, I just want to separate this for now. Value code value this is just some dummy text for now input type text type text and v model equals coupon value so this will be empty you just i just want to see that everything is working there for now code input type text the model coupon code like that and below here I want to create a button and when I click this I want to apply the code that I type in here at click apply coupon just the text apply so if I save now I think I will get some errors now it's working but 50 code, not things happen because I don't have the apply code. Except this was supposed to be there. So I need to create the apply coupon function. So I scroll down into methods and on top there, create a new function. And here I check that if this dot coupon code not equals empty then I want to fetch slash API can use coupon code just add the parameter like this plus this dot coupon code and set the method get just so that's done when I get the return I want to run dot then response fat arrow because I need to access the this inside here so I can't use the regular function return response.json I want to 
on that's done I call this Tera fat arrow function again if Tera dot amount this dot coupon value equals parse int Tera dot amount this is the one I get here like that else this dot coupon value equals zero and that's it so now I can save this refresh if I say 50 code it's not working dot them no that's not a function try one more time 50 code apply so I did something wrong again up here where I printed the total cost I forgot to closing brackets 50 code so now you can see that I get code value 50 percentage total cost with coupon 4.99 instead of 9.98 so this is the price we want to send in to into Stripe now. But since this can be changed in the front end, we also need to do the applying of the code in the back end. So if I go back to the API inside the store and not in the cart, no, not in the coupon, where we do this create checkout, here I need to import the model we created from apps.coupon models import coupon and I need to move this to the top because I need it up here like that and then I want to just add a comment so I have a little bit better control and then I can say coupon code equals data coupon code. I might forgot to add this to, to this data array here. Yes, this dot coupon code. So I need to submit it with this data into the create checkout session so now I can go back here I can say coupon value just default it to zero if coupon code not equals empty coupon equals coupon dot objects dot get code equals coupon code so I get the coupon from the database based on the one we submit. If coupon dot can use, check it here too. Coupon value equals coupon dot value. So we assign it to this coupon dot use. So we say to the database that we used this, that coupon and save and since we have this here we can also add it to the order order dot used coupon equals coupon code and save and the last thing we need to do now before we test this is to create a new variable up here price equals this and replace down here and inside here we can say if coupon value is greater than zero price equals integer price multiply with integer coupon value divided by 100 and save so now I hope everything should be working. I don't have any errors there. 
just refresh again. Code 50. Apply. Okay, it didn't work now. Why? Number available. Everything seems to be correct. Okay, there it works again. Okay, so now when I go to Stripe, I should see 4.99 and not 9.98. Stein test code, just a random email address, zip, and then the place. Check out. So yes, here you can see a bit 2.49 or 4.99 total. Want to go through with the payment? Name. Okay. Just want to go to my downloads folder. Stripe. So I listen to the hooks again. I hope that it should work now. Pay four ninety eight. Okay, so the cart was reset. I go here now to orders, Stein test, used coupon code, paid amount is not correct. Okay, so if I go back here again now, paid amount should not be total price, but I can just do this again and then paste it below here. If coupon value is more than zero, total price, total price, like that. Okay, so now I think this should work. Actually, I'm a little bit uncertain about this. I think I just need to go to cart and just look at this because I just need to multiply it and divide it by 100. Total price equals total price times coupon value divided by 100. Okay, so now that should work as well. So that means that this is working. One problem which I don't like in the cart, let me just add a product, is that I have these two buttons. I just want to use this green one. So if I go to cart.html, we have that checkout button which goes to buy, which is the one I want to use. Paste it in there. Class button is primary, like that. Submit form shouldn't be used anymore. So I can just remove this whole function like that. So it's a little bit better. But now the form will click, crash, sorry. <laughs> click is just a Norwegian word I use. So if I go up here and remove this, save, I think everything should work. Okay, 19. Okay, now I don't want to use a code, just want to test if this button works. No, it did not. Okay, I can say buy instead of the click, of course. Save, refresh, fill in the form again. Check out. So now it's working. It's perfect.
so things are a little bit better there now. So also I don't want to see the code value and the user shouldn't see this. There's no point of that. So if I find it here, I can say input type hidden. Just remove this coupon code like that. So now things seems a little bit better. Doesn't look pretty, but that's also not the point of this tutorial. The point is that things should work. So that's it for this part. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I see you next time.